Ava. And I'm Jules. And today, we're gonna play Would You Rather, just like we did last week. Okay, let's get started. First question, would you rather teleport or read minds? I think I'm gonna have to go with read minds because then you can know what everyone's thinking. Me too. Question two, would you rather talk to animals or speak every language? I would rather talk to animals. I would love to talk to my dog. What about you? I think I would like to be able to speak every language because it might come in handy. Question three, would you rather live without music or TV? I mean, I love music, but I think I can live without it. TV, I don't know about that. I think I could live without TV because I love music. Question four, would you rather talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? I would rather talk like Yoda. It'd be so funny. I think I would too. Question five, the last one. Would you rather have no homework ever again or get paid to do your homework? I think I'm gonna have to go with never do my homework ever again because it just sounds fun. I would rather get paid to do my homework. I'd have lots of money. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing with us, One Kids. Bye! Welcome to Summer at One Kids. This summer, the title of our series is Champions Like Jesus. You know how we say here that we want to be just like Him? Well, together we are going to take challenges on that are going to help us run faster after Jesus and become stronger just like Him. So, if you're ready for a challenge, get your running shoes and get ready for the best summer of your life. Hey one kids, I'm back with our 30 second challenge. In today's challenge, we're going to be doing sit-ups. So ask your parents or leader if they can set a 30 second timer. In those 30 seconds, we are going to see how many you can do. All right, are you ready? Let's start. Welcome to Summer at One Kids. Remember us, I'm Andy. And I'm Ava, and we're so glad that you're here. First things first, if you've been with us before, you know that we have four values we believe are very important. Ava, do you remember the first one? Yeah, the first one is to love God. We love God by giving Him our undivided attention and worshiping Him with our voices and with our hearts. And second, love people. We love people because God loves people first, and we want to be just like Him. Do you remember the third one? Yeah, the third one is do your best. Do your best in everything that you do and God will take care of the rest. And last but not least, have fun. We want this to be the best hour of your week. So have fun because God gives us so much joy. Speaking of fun, you're going to have so much fun as we get ready to worship God together. So let's stand on our feet one kids and worship God.
joy, joy, joy down in my heart Where? Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Down in my heart and I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart What else you got? I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart Where? Down in my heart Where? Down in my heart I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart Where? Let's read the way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed to read the way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Are you ready for our verse? Today, we're gonna say it in a lot of different voices and it's gonna be so much fun. First, I'm gonna say it and you're gonna repeat after me. Here we go. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Good job. Now we're gonna say it in a super, super loud voice. Are you ready? I know y'all can be really, really loud. Here we go. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Jesus is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Good job, guys. Now we're gonna say it in a super, super silly voice. I want you to think about a silly voice. Think about it, think about it. You got one? Okay, I've got my silly voice. Here we go. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Jesus is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Oh my gosh, good job. You guys' silly voices are awesome. Now, 
We're gonna say it in a whisper voice, as quiet as you can say it. Can you be really, really quiet? Are y'all ready? Here we go. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Good job, your whisper voice was so quiet. You guys are so good at this. Now we're gonna say it one more time, all together. Here we go. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Philippians 3, 14. Great job, One Kids. Hey, One Kids. Well, the time has come for our last and final challenge of our series, champions like Jesus. And it has been so great to take on challenges that have made us more like Him. Today's last and final challenge is called the Warfare Challenge. And you might be wondering, what does warfare mean? It means when you're fighting for something, something important, when soldiers go to war and they're fighting for our country, that's warfare. And so today, I wanna to tell you about a story in the Bible. There was a man named Joshua, and Joshua and his people marched around a huge wall, and the walls came tumbling down. You're gonna love this story. Let's watch now. There was a man named Joshua. Joshua knew that he had to get into Jericho, but he was wondering how God would help him capture the great walled city. Then, one day, he saw a man with a sword nearby. Are you a friend or an enemy? Joshua asked. I am God's messenger and the commander of God's army, the man said. Then Joshua saw that the man was actually an angel. Joshua fell to his knees and said, tell me what God wants me to do. Then Joshua went and told his soldiers, God will give us the walled city of Jericho, but we will have to do what he has said. We have to march around the city for six days. On the seventh day, we have to march around the city seven times with the priests blowing their trumpets. Then the whole army will give a loud shout and the walls of Jericho will come crashing down. Remember Rahab and how she helped Joshua and his friends escape from Jericho? Joshua remembered that if he saw a red rope in a window, it meant to save Rahab. Inside the walled city of Jericho, Rahab watched and waited. Joshua had promised to save her and her family when the city was destroyed. Rahab saw the people of Israel walking around the outside of the walls once every day for six days. Then. On the seventh day, they walked around the wall seven times with the priests blowing their trumpets. Then, on the very last time around the walls, when they all shouted, the great stone wall of Jericho fell down. The city was theirs, not by a strong army fighting, but by God's power. Rahab was kept safe and rescued. What a great story. I love Joshua. He was such a champion. He loved God and he knew that God was going to help him and he was gonna be able to win this war. Now, there are three things that we can learn from Joshua. Number one, I want you to remember, one kids, you have the heart of a champion. Number two, you have the courage of a champion. And number three, you have the fight of a champion. So there's nothing in your entire life that you can do. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. So anytime you feel like you can't do something, remember, you are a champion. Let me pray for you before we close. God, we thank you. We thank you that you love us. We thank you that you give us the heart of a champion, the courage of a champion, and the fight of a champion. And I pray that you would help us remember that we can do all things through you who gives us strength. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What a great lesson. This has been such a fun Sunday. Now kids, remember, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the little bell icon so you can get a notification whenever we post, follow us on Facebook, and post a picture for us to see you guys worshiping together. Have a great day. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.